Today's video is going to be a bit weird, is we're going to have to pander to people who um, don't know exactly how Linux works, I guess, in a term that all Linux is compatible with all other Linux. It's weird. So, like, those people that say, does this game work with Arch? Because it worked with Debian. We're talking about those people. Ugh, they don't understand that if it works for Arch, it works for Debian. If it works for Debian, it works for this. If it works for that, it works for this. And Unless you're on something really, really, really old, and then you're just purposely suffering. Okay, so this is an application called Cider. And currently on Arch, it's having some issues for a few users where they can't update to the newest. So you're stuck with, you know, 2.5. I'm on 2.6. And I want to help you also get to 2.6. Now, this only goes for if you own, okay, if you own Cider, because it's one of those things that, you know, you have to pay for. So, I downloaded the RPM. I'm going to extract the RPM, okay? If you're on KDE, do whatever you need to to get this done. We're going to hit replace all. And I'm going to hit close and I'm going to completely move that to trash and then we're going to do it again because, well, there was already one there. So, yeah, we're extracting. Great. We go inside. You're going to notice there's a couple files. There's the .bin. Great. There's the lib. Great. Inside of here is cider. We're going to copy all of this. Then we're going to go to this location here. So we're going to type slash. Just like that. And then... What we do is we open up as administrator, we go to slash user, okay, we go to lib, great, wait, where was it? Was it lib? I get confused sometimes. Yes, it was, and then we go into the cider folder. So we have to look through all of this and find the cider folder. Dun, 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 I'm half blind, so there it is. And we're just gonna hit paste and we're basically going to merge over everything what this does is it will replace all the current files with the new files and then what happens you essentially have the new updated version now i am going to hit cancel okay because i already have it it's there it's up it's updated all right i don't need to do this now, the next thing we need to do is we need to fix the, the .exe, or not the .exe, the .desktop. So we're going to CD. One second, let me make this really, really big for you. We're going to CD into slash user slash layer slash applications. Share. And then we're going to nano into the cider underscore Linux blah, 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 .desktop. You're going to add this right here. Startup capital WMC, non-capital LAS, so class, equals CIDR. This will make sure that the icon and the application show with each other. So like what I have right here, when we click this, it opens here instead of over here. And there you go. That's how you fix it. Because right now, apparently, they don't know how to do Linux builds properly. This is unfortunate. Hopefully, they get it fixed soon. And... Uh, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. So this is how you manually update CIDR. Bye, everybody.